I'm on set today and obviously I can't tell you anything about it because we're still shooting. Um, but what I've been doing is I've been coming back to the van to do my editing using the new loop deck on my case and I want to just go through um, how much time it saves me um, and uh, show you a couple of things. So I'm probably going to jump to my phone to film a few bits and do some screen grabs and uh, yeah, I'll show you what, how it works and what I do. You can see the loop deck in its current um, settings ready for Capture One. This is its default settings. Um, I have made some changes, but for this video, I'm showing it you in its default. So I've got here a test image. This is an image that's already been released from a previous production, which is why I can show you it today. This is from Romeo and Juliet by the National Theatre and Sky. And um, I'm just gonna do a couple of very basic edits I often do on an image and show you how I do that without the loop deck and then how I do it with the loop deck. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go to this image and I'm going to rate it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit two on there, give it a star rating of two, great. And then I am going to go over to this tab and I'm gonna, I mean, this is fairly well exposed, but say I'm just gonna adjust the exposure slightly, bring that down, bring the shadows up a little bit, uh, color temperature, just cool that down a little bit. And then I wanna come over into color on the color tab and adjust the tint, there we go. All right, so without the loop deck, we've rated an image, we've adjusted the exposure and we've adjusted the color temperature and it didn't take too long. Let's move over to the loop deck now and try it over here. So, back on the same image, I'm going to rate it, set rating to two, done. Click over to this tab, and I've got my exposure, I'm going to adjust the exposure slightly. I'm going to adjust the contrast. I could do my colour temperature at the same time as lifting my shadows slightly, and that's done. Now, if I wanted to crop this, I just hit crop, and then I can use the dial to straighten it. So if this, is some, if this was an image with a horizon, I could just do a very quick straighten, come out of that, done. Um, structure, I've got other things on other tabs. I want to see what this looks like in black and white. Toggle black and white, black and white on, black and white off. Um, very simple, very quick. And then if I toggle black and white in and I can adjust all of the different colors in here. Ah, oh, great, perfect. I like that, I'm gonna come out from here. From here, I can go to export and then I've got my export options here. And I can save my own Apple scripts into here if I want to. Um, yeah, there we go. And then just for scrolling, next previous image, I'll just scroll through a few. And then uh, if I want to zoom in or out, I can just place my cursor, zoom in, zoom out. That's sort of today's quick video. And uh, I'll be back to the whole content soon. If you like this, hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram at problems for